guys, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for to the channel. A little bit of a video on uh, Project Man Cave. As you can see, we're, we're, still, uh, we're still working on it. Because uh, this part of uh, the Man Cave looks uh, fairly, well, cleaned up and cool and everything. But uh, <laughs> this part just doesn't. You can see, it's, <laughs> we've been <laughs> we were cleaning out the attic quite a bit. There's uh, bits that will... Uh, We'll go right into the dumpster, which will go, uh, will, will be tucked away. This, those are old laptops. Two of them. I have, uh, have a gaming laptop uh, here, as you can see, which I've been using to make all my videos. And this is the new beast, or at least uh, the screen for the for the new beast. We have my uh, when my webcam up there, the Logitech C920. We have the nine, nice 27-inch monitor from uh, Ayama. Ayama. And then we have uh, the other bits over here, Stream Deck HD60S. And you've already seen it uh, right there. The guys from Your Bill have done a great job at making me a, a little a little computer. A little, quite a big one actually. And here it is, as you can see. Lovely stuff, we have a AMD Ryzen 3600 on board, uh, an MSI GeForce RTX to uh, 2060 uh, Super as a graphics card. We have an MSI uh, B450 motherboard right there in the back. 16 uh, gigabytes DDR RAM and a nice RGB case from Cooler Master, as you can see. And you might not, not really notice it, but uh, I did tweak a little bit of the of, uh, the lighting to uh, to make it uh, have the same color as my. Uh, that's my thumbnails, or at least uh, these bits, you know, Crash Tank, Ash Baby, that's the same RGB number. And there's, well, there were people saying, well, what makes computers good? And kids will say, lighting! And, uh, well, I kind of uh, do not agree, but uh, it, it is, it, it's, it's sustained, it is. Restrain this a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna fix all the cabling, because that cable management is just poor. Well, I had to, had to do something, and uh, you can see I still have a, a bit of a cable running here to a nice little power line extender. Here we are. We have a window to the world. We have a power line extender over here. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it might work, but uh, we'll see what happens uh, about that. Let's go back then, follow the cable, and we'll get to uh, where the magic happens. Nice little tank fest cap over there. Water tanks, tank fest cap. And you can also see that uh, I've added some of the other bits that I quite like to do, that I used to do actually. Uh, I used to do a lot of model building. I have a few of my uh, bigger books over here for Forgotten Archives. I've actually managed to get this one. Um, a tank fest, was it? 29, uh, 2018 to 2019. I'm not quite sure. I think it was 2018. And I got this one for, uh, what was it? Eight, uh, 10 pounds? 10 pounds or something like that? It, it, it was really cheap and you just look at the, the pictures, they are big, they are crystal clear as you can see and I really like books like this. Not just because of the blown up tanks, but because of the big pictures, because of the clear pictures that you have. Danger! Danger! Guns are loaded! Yeah, the guns are loaded. And this is uh, what I'm adding as, as well to uh, the man cave in here. And we have a few models up there that I've built in uh, in earlier years. A Crusader Mark III, as you can see, with proper camouflage in there. And we have a Sherman Firefly, the 5C. This is the model of the Saunders, but then it's a um, it's regular from the Battle of the Bilge. With all uh, storage on the, on the front and uh, Churchill tracks on the side of the turret, as you can see. And uh, and then, then we have this one, the Crusader. I'm going to show that one as well. Because you might not uh, notice it at first. Yes, there it is. But do you see there's a little bit of light and the shading under the turret? It's not much, but it's there. Let's let's put it down right over here. There we go, there we go. Yes, that's the business end. I did put a little bit of white under shading under the turret. You see it? The black keeps running through, but that was the official camouflage scheme. That's why I like the the historical camouflages in World of Tanks Blitz. If they look good, if they look kind of proper like they should, then uh, and then that's what I tend to tend to go for. And uh, yeah, this is a 1 to 48 uh, scale Tamiya Crusader Mark III tank. 
And it's uh, nothing fancy in terms of the uh, of the little uh, blade. Fastened it with a NAS screw, which you can see right over there. And this is just uh, just tape, basically. Self-adhesive uh, stuff and self-adhesive stickers on the front on a nice little photo frame. That's all she wrote. We also added uh, this little bit, not not uh, not Blixen, uh, not Lightning McQueen, but uh, that picture over there. It's all looking good. And I said that this is uh, where the magic is going to happen in terms of uh, getting the, the footage out. I've just been able to, to set this up thanks to the guys at uh, at Yorbil Asset. Ordered a PC from them, and they, it took them about uh, a week or so to, to to get it sorted, to get it mounted, to get it up and running, and then send it uh, my way. And it arrived, and uh, very very happy with it. So yeah, as you can see, Cooler Master AMD Ryzen 2060 Super. Now what I intend to do here, because I have uh, the possibilities now to, to do a little bit more in terms of uh, streaming, hopefully, I have this little thingy over here, which is uh, a USB-C to HDMI converter from Samsung. That one is hooked up to my HDS60S from Elgato. We have the Stream Deck in here as well, so still need to sort that one out. Welcome, does it say to me? I say, uh, hello, thank you very much for being there. Um, what, what I want to... What I want to do is uh, do a little bit more streaming from uh, from this uh, desk, from this uh, machine. And then uh, we'll hopefully be able to add a little bit more in terms of um, footage to uh, this basic. Oh, hello, Mingles with Jingles. Ah, right. Here's something to watch then. And the thick. They got the Berlin reward tank. From my awesome epic guys. Oh, what's that one? Yeah. YouTube Studio, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can do a little bit uh, more in terms of uh, streaming. And uh, let's just uh, put my channel on the background because it looks uh, looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know that video already. We know that video already. Um, I said a, li a little video on Project Man Cave. And uh, how would you like it? When I get it all up and running, I'll, uh, I'll post uh, a new, uh, new video because I would like to get a bit of a wall over here. I'm literally sitting next to the stack, as we want a wall here as well. Because this uh, looks uh, functional, but it doesn't look that pretty. Right, and that's it uh, for this uh, video. I'll catch you all uh, tonight. I'm going to do a little bit of a, um, a gameplay video of Fink on the KV1S. And uh, see you all later. Cheers, happy tanking, bye bye.